Ladies and gentlemen, all right. Um, well, this is what I basically do when I get set up for a job. Um, keep my trailer on the property behind a fence. Just hooked up. Uh, there used to be a section here. It's about an eight-foot section. There was a post probably around here, but I extended it about 12 feet, and I just temporary. You know, it was just a quick job. Got hinges on the other side. And I got a couple of hinges in here that keep this thing shut and locked in. And what I do is I just back my truck right onto the property, right across the flower bed in the front, which I'm going to put gravel there eventually. And I grab this thing and we haul it out of here. So let me open up the gate. Let me get the truck ready. And we'll head to the job. So the gate's open. You can see it goes right outside to the driveway out into the road. Let me go and get the truck. Eventually, I'll take this Belgian block out and put gravel in here. I gotta re gravel this driveway, anyways. This thing is shot. If you can look in the rear view, there you go. I can't wait till I get another truck eventually with the backup cameras and all that other stuff. It'll make it a lot easier. Take your time. I do this so many times you get used to where you got to pull the truck and we'll get out there and we'll take a look and see where the trailer's at so this is my basic routine when it comes to this trailer I come out see I'm off all right so I'll pull it in another couple about another foot and a half Should be close. That's not bad, so I'll lift up, I'll crank this bad boy up, and I'll swing it over. We'll put it right on the uh, ball there. After wrestling with this thing, get it down, lower it, and lock this bad boy up. I used to have a cotter pin, but I just put a bolt through it now. And I got a little, I got a little, little nut on here to keep this thing on here. If you've never hooked up a trailer before, make sure you hook up these chains and crisscross them. This chain usually goes on the other side, but bring it over and hook it. Bring the other one over. If you can see what I mean by crisscrossing. You know, come across, grab the other one. All right. Now obviously make sure you plug in your wiring. This right here I got on. My other one was getting rusted and corroded. I picked this one up on Amazon. It's a double. If you can see, it does both. Three and four pin. This thing covers. All right, you just wanna, I had to replace this too. The old one on the truck got rotted out. You're gonna insert it, that's all. God damn it. And uh, I almost tripped there. I wanna make sure these are working. That's it. Your blinkers are good, your brakes are good. All right. You can see these flash just a tiny bit. Just to make sure your running lights work. You can turn the lights on in the truck. We're all on, okay? That's if you're gonna be driving when it gets dark, but make sure all the lights are working before you take off out of the driveway, that's all. All right, so we get this trailer hooked up. You know, some of these roads I drive through are tight. They're small uh, in a rural area. So you gotta be careful when you're making these corners. Pay attention. You got cars coming up on us. You know, a lot of racers. You got someone tailing you, pull over, put your hazards on, let the moron drive around you. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. When you see these signs, go easy. Don't hot dog it. You're driving to a job and it's uh, you're running late. You know, just run late. Safety first. You know what I mean? So that's it. You want to take these wide turns if you got a trailer on the back. The trailer back there usually it follows the truck. So don't worry about it. Don't panic if it's your first time driving a trailer. And uh, go easy. All right. Keep your eyes open for any uh, potential hazards. All right. You know what I mean? freaking deer can jump out right now boom you know what I mean you don't know so 
keep your eyes open, drive easy. Let's get to this job and see what's going on. I don't have to tell you, but when you get to a job, back the trailer in the driveway if you can. If you can't get down the driveway backing it in, park it out in the street and you're gonna have to walk and put that into your pricing when you do your estimates. Remember all that extra time and labor. Yes, Sonny.